hi guys very good evening to all of you welcome to the video number 470 my name is Ajay Parmar and in this video today we are going to talk about what are the interview questions which you can expect when you appear for the you know excel test and when you go and give the interview uh, so you should be always prepared and in an attempt to make you awesome in excel excel vba access and access vba today i'm going to talk about couple of i'm going to actually share a couple of questions with you on the form controls and the activex controls right now if you're watching the channel for the first time then i just want to take maybe 20 seconds of yours first of all this is the channel youtube.com slash c slash ajay kumar pramar or you can also google it you can just write there ajay you know from our excel videos and you you will have my channel on this channel we have basically uploaded this 470 videos on excel excel vba access and access vba and very soon i'm very very proud and very glad to share with you that we're going to talk about the web designing also we're going to learn the html and css right because a lot of you have requested me that how to use the uh, you know uh, uh, the internet data if you want to import that data in the excel and you want to do some automation which we call as web scrapping so very soon guys you will see my videos also in that right so now uh, these 470 videos you can go and check out you know under this playlist link as I always share this vital information in the beginning of my videos these are all the 45 different playlists access VB arrays access VB introduction tutorials Excel offset function Excel VB even so when you scroll down you see that any title which says Excel VB and uh, whatever the title it it has the subject this is the for example the introduction series so this is on the excel vba introduction and this is for the access macro so you will have all these four subjects covered right go through this and enjoy the channel and this channel actually holds all the basic videos intermediate level videos and of course the super advanced videos now this is uh these these are basically are all the playlists which i have written here for you you can pause the video and you can write it down take the snap snapshot of it and these are all the uh, you know the playlist which you should watch in the sequence so you have the excel vba you have the excel access front end and access vba so i request you if you are if you're a beginner if you want to learn something you can follow this or you can also reach out to me for my own you know personal online mis analytics training right so guys now today uh what exactly we are going to do is um i have here a couple of questions and these are the questions which we're going to answer one by one now if you don't have any information about the what are the form controls activex controls don't worry we're going to discuss in in this video and if you if you know already you know if you already know them then still you can watch this video it's always good to you know uh, uh, read the um, uh, you know uh, to listen and and to read the stuff again and again because that that makes you you know uh, pretty awesome and that also increases the confidence level so just hang hang on there and uh, uh, see this entire video i'll try to make it very interesting with the live examples as well but yes one thing more uh, in this video we are really not going to uh, talk about the dashboards how we use that because for that i already have the upload you know uploaded couple of videos you can go and check the playlist called excel dashboard making under that i've talked about all these activex controls and the form controls so in this um, uh, video let's talk about these uh, very interesting five questions uh, first of all the very first thing what are the form controls and the activex controls and then the second question we are going to talk about the way do we see them in excel so how you can get them activated right then do they need the vba so do you need to be a vba expert do you really need the visual basic application and why do we use it what is their purpose and of course the difference between the form controls and the activex Con activex controls now this is the question which i i remember that um, uh, one of my students also faced this right that what is the difference between the form controls and the activex controls right so let's go and talk about all these things one by one so if i just take you to the uh, you know this uh, the answers first of all we will discuss the answers and the side by side i'll also give you the demonstration so the first thing is that the question was you know uh, this this was the question guys that what are the form controls and the activex controls so basically they are the objects which we can insert in excel in the excel spreadsheet of course to improve the dashboard looks so they are basically guys used in the dashboard where you can control the dashboard uh, with their you know uh, the values with whatever you create for example combo box list box option buttons and so there are n number of the things and this is also to interact uh, you know also uh, to interact with the user in a much better way now for example uh, let me talk about this first of all uh, they enable users to use the data or view the data stored inside them so what we are talking here is that now you know if you just go and give some option to the to the user to write here something for example what you supposed to do is you're supposed to write here some country names now somebody can write here india 
maybe somebody can write here ind right or somebody can write whatever right now the thing is it, it's always better to give them the you know the drop downs in the form of maybe the list box in the form of the combo box so what you can do is you can go to the developer tab and here insert right in the insert you can use this now this is the form control this is the activex control if I go and click on the let's say the combo box I click here on the combo box and this is how you can drag you know you can draw this now guys this is a combo box right so this combo box when the user is going to click here He's going to see the values and the moment he selects something you know automatically the below the dashboard whatever you know the values uh, you are using in this combo box you can link that with the some of the excel functions right i talked about all this in my those videos which i was telling you right dashboard making is the playlist name so let me tell you actually how how we can actually so suppose let me show you this uh, I, I simply go and uh, say that you know the right click and i say form control now i go to the form control and here i can give it a range so let's say i give it this range right and i say that my cell link is going to be b1 i simply go and press ok now here let's say i write here some you know the country so this is let's say i write here the country so these are the countries let's say so and then these are the countries right so for example now when you click here you get to see all these you know the the countries here so basically if you see somebody who is just using writing here ind in the dashboard let's say there is a, some dashboard which is you know linked with this then using writing that country name and giving this kind of a stuff it's extremely extremely there's no difference uh, there, there is no similarity it's a big difference this pretty this 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 looks so pretty you know it's so elegant you can make sort of these things and not only this you can also go to the insert and you can also insert the list box so let's say if I have to insert the list box so somewhere here you will find the list box option as well now this is my list box so if I just have to you know if I draw this this is how the list box looks like so go to the form controls and you can again give the same input range here I can select all these items here and I can say that this is going to be my cell link so let's say I select this time b2 as a cell link now when you press ok you see that guys this is how it looks like so whenever you select you know this this country AFG what happens this is going to give you the index according to that so basically what I'm trying to tell you is that they give a very very elegant look to your dashboard right if somebody selects USA maybe you would like to see the entries the entry space is the USA isn't it so the entire dashboard you know can be handled using these controls right so they actually look very elegant you can further go and you can create further more like you you can create the checkbox you can also use the scroll bar you know i talked about this scroll bar, uh, sc uh, scroll bar as well for example this is my scroll bar so scroll bar generally what happens when you when you click here you know what happens you can move this entire screen right go and watch my all those videos so basically uh, if i you know come back to the or original question what are the form controls and the activex controls so basically the idea is that they they they, they are we call them the you know uh, the control objects which we can insert in excel to improve the dashboard looks right and we make them the elegant and also with the help of this user is able to interact with our program very efficiently because user just needs to select the things from the you know all these uh, the controls right uh, if is if it is an option box he just need to click there if it is a checkbox he just need to select that that item if it is a list box you can choose that right so that enables the users to use the data or to view the data stored inside them so as we saw that you can view the data you can also at the same time select the data so this is how it is your your form controls and the active you know activex controls are right so now let's talk about the second question where do we see them in excel so as you know that that guys uh, they they are all shown under the developer tab this is the developer tab now just in case if you don't have this developer tab because by default it is not what you can do is if you're using excel 2010 or any higher version you need to go to the file and the option okay in the file in the option and just go there and then what you can do is you can click on this the customized ribbon option and make sure this developer tab should be check marked if it is not you won't see that so you have to click here if you're using 2007 you can search in the Google but I still remember that in 2007 when you go to the file in the option somewhere here on the top I think one or two, uh, top three you know these tabs when you click there you know sort of you, you get to see here some option called show developer tab in the menu and you just need to check mark that right so you can find it out it's very easy so once you have the developer tab you can use this insert right and from here you can use the activex control or the formx control so that's very simple they are always available in the developer tab and this is a one-time activity guys once you activate the developer tab you don't have to uh, you know again go and activate it right so what was the question number three do they need vba now this is very important question now 
if you look at this I did not use any VBA here right if I just go and hide all this stuff because this is something which a user should not see that right I can simply use these controls and this is all without the programming so yes we don't really need the VBA I, I don't say that we you cannot program it uh, ActiveX controls you can program it but the point is that you really don't need that that right to, uh, to make the pretty awesome these uh, the dashboards so that's a good news for those who doesn't know any programming right so they don't need the VBA guys now what is their purpose so their purpose basically uh, um, is to bring the fabulous view to our reports and user find it easy to use them we just clicks user selects the data and everything in the reports changes accordingly right so this is what I was talking about that you know user find it very convenient to use it now if I somebody has to select any country you know you can they can just refer to this or they can just go to the this uh, you know the list box they can select they don't basically have to feed in the information and based on that the entire dashboard can change it can give you the you know that entire uh, good effect if I select England maybe you are particularly looking for the England population England economy and number of states they have and whatever you know blah 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 things whatever you have the in your database it's not specifically about this it could be anything I'm just giving you the example so that's why guys we use them because that brings the you know the interaction that user finds it's very easy to write it down and, and it's very quick uh, as such you know it's very easy for somebody to uh, uh, select the uh, these uh, you know the items in the combo box or the list box and at the same time if they want to quickly randomly you know change the things um, they can quickly do that for example if I have to select Mexico I can select Mexico if I, if I have to select IND I can select IND and if I have to select USA I can select the USA and same you know goes here so this is how uh, you know the things happen and same way you can see that you can also run this scroll bar this is running you see that this is moving right so this is fantastic from the user perspective right now the next thing is that difference between the form controls and the ActiveX controls now this is something very very important that what is the difference and many of you actually have asked me also this thing now guys uh, most of the time uh, if I if I show you so as such there is no big difference and the user can pick these controls out of his or her choice so like specifically if you ask me um, I, I love to use the ActiveX controls right and uh, it's not that I, I, I hate <laughs> from controls it's not that but you know I think I am more comfortable with the ActiveX controls and I'll tell you the reason I'm not saying just like that right yeah. so we'll talk about that uh, so yes they look a little, uh, little dif uh, different in terms of you know how it actually comes on the exit how, how they appear and also functionality also they you know that differ for example now you just saw this combo box which I have created for you this is the form control right and you remember if you remember I just went to the right click and you know I clicked on the uh, form control and from here I use this a1 to a7 but if you have to do the same stuff again with the ActiveX control how are you gonna do that first of all let us go and first of all just unhide this column a now if you look at this carefully what we have done we have linked all these rows and these are the numbers basis these numbers you know you design your functions you design your entire thing now if I just have to draw something using the ActiveX control so if I go to the insert and if I first of all draw this combo box let's say I draw this combo box now look at this if I draw this combo box this combo box li looks a little different and that is what I was talking about this combo box and this combo box of my form control both are different this is ActiveX control form that is the first thing now if I just go and right click here form controls you don't see that option here we don't have that you know the tab there where I can link that in the ActiveX controls what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use the properties you go to the properties and here in the properties windows you can go and check that this link cell what which, which cell you want to link so let's say I want to link this with the H1 remember that right and the list fill range list fill range means that which list you want to insert here what is your row source so I am just going to write A1 colon to A5 now when I just click OK you see that the moment I come back here now I cannot select that this is again the one more difference some people find it very awkward and you know difficult to deal with but the point is they don't know one thing that till the time your design mode is on they you, you cannot select that design mode means that you are basically trying to design the you know ActiveX control now I have already designed it I have given the rules so I just click back here and I make it off and the moment you make it off guys you can click here wonderful now you see that this is also works the same way right if you insert any value here you get the same kind of a feeling uh, it's just a little difference between you know uh, in these uh, I mean uh, in terms of your their, their appearance but I think well 
the overall idea is remains the same you just choose the values from the drop down and one interesting thing when you select ind you see that here i am getting here ind but here i was getting what i was getting the ind rank index number which was one right so if you have to program something basis the indexes you can use the form controls if you just want to directly use this value somewhere you can be look up or use the indirect function or whatever of that function i I'm again repeating, I already talked about all this man in my dashboard making series. You can go and check that out, right? So guys, this is for me easy because I can simply use this IND, you know, uh, whatever the user is going to select here. So I can choose that and I can, you know, make my dashboard accordingly. And similarly, if you just quickly go to the insert and you, you know, find out the list box here. So this is my, let's say the list box. Uh, this is my list box. And when, you, when I insert this list box, you see that this is how the list box looks like. So again, you just go to the property. You don't have to click on the right click don't do the right click and then let's say I link this cell with let's say I1 and then again I provide the same range which is uh, let's say I want to make it a1 to a10 for example and I just go and you know see that all right so this is how your list books look, looks like you know you can see that maybe you 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 would go for the you know this form control uh, due to this uh, you know these signs but this is also fine I mean it's all matter of choice guys both the list boxes are in front of you now I just click here click back here to remove this design mode and now if i select this you see that this is what i'm getting here the same concept guys in the active controls when you select list box or when you select any value in the list box on the combo box you get to see the same value there right and which you further can use but in this case you basically get the index of that so you have the choice you should know both the things right so this is all about uh, these form controls and the ActiveX controls. I hope uh, you, uh, this is going to make a lot of sense to all of those people who, who are going to appear for the test and also for those who, who never actually worked on these ActiveX in the form controls, right? So with that said guys, um, I, I, will, uh, I will come back with some another exciting stuff and please don't forget to click on the like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel also and please do share this information with all those professionals or all those beginners who have just started their career in Excel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Have a fantastic learning guys. Bye-bye.